I've done better than that. You'd think you'd know his name. Every time you switch on a light or turn on your radio, his contributions are as far-reaching as those of Albert Einstein, Isaac Newton, or even his nemesis, Tom Edison. This mysterious, tall, dark Serbian invented alternating current, wireless communication, the modern electric motor, basic laser and radar technology, X-rays, neon, robotics, remote control and cellular technology. Tesla was on a mission dedicated to unlocking the secrets of nature, his greatest obsession. He left little time for relationships or business. Nikola was exceedingly vulnerable in this regard. Wall Street monster J.P. Morgan was always lurking in the background, salivating over Tesla's patents. He wanted total control of the new power industry and would even crash Wall Street in order to shake out the competition. J.P. Morgan towered above all the Wall Street people like Samson over the Philistines. There were repercussions. One dark afternoon, Tesla tore up his own royalty agreement with Westinghouse, a contract potentially worth billions of dollars, in order to save their company from financial doom. This insane act of generosity was never reciprocated, even after Westinghouse's death in 1913. Despite the volatile world of finance in those days, Tesla was still courted by the rich and powerful. Nikola would soon engage the biggest fish in the pond, while undertaking his greatest venture, Wardenclyffe. This fantastic structure was the very culmination of Tesla's vision to create a worldwide communication system for sending sound and pictures. The primary goal was to beat Marconi for the honor of delivering the world's first transatlantic wireless signal. By no accident, Tesla's grand project was to be financed by the devil himself, J.P. Morgan. You're a strange man indeed, Tesla. After the papers are signed, you may draw upon the house of Morgan, but it's important that I remain a silent partner. You do understand what that means, don't you, Mr. Tesla? But Nikola had a secret. The system could also electrify the world. Wardenclyffe would provide limitless, free energy everywhere for everybody. When J.P. Morgan found out about this leap of technology, he wouldn't tolerate it. He knew Tesla could deliver, and the banker Overlord couldn't put a meter on it. A man always has two reasons for doing anything. A good reason, and the real reason. Mid-construction, Morgan would cancel the contract and blackball Tesla, thus excluding him from any other investor. Mr. Morgan, are you going to leave me in a hole? I've made a thousand powerful enemies on your account. In a hundred years from now, this country would give me much for the first honor of transmitting power without wires. Wardenclyffe faltered, and Marconi sent his transatlantic signal. Tesla would suffer his second nervous breakdown, and never again would he regain his momentum as before. But despite his cruel fate, Nikola stayed the course. Decade after decade would pass, and he would bring forth new, fantastic inventions. No one could begin to imagine what great secrets this mad scientist kept locked inside his head. No one, except J. Edgar Hoover and his G-men. They waited patiently for the great man to pass, and were ready to take everything that Nikola left behind. <laughs>